Hey guys, just getting started on the acoustically transparent screen from Elon Vision. Uh, came very well packaged, came with gloves and a whole bunch of things. I'm just getting started unboxing now. All right, let's check out the completed framing and stage now. And as you can see, I put some very nice backlighting and I'm hoping that it's visible behind the screen. Being acoustically transparent, and if you guys recall in the 90s and early 2000s, IMAX would always play this clip at the beginning of their, their video. And in that clip, they would show the speakers behind the screen. I always, I always assumed that it was a projected image, but later I found out that uh, uh, they were actually turning on lights behind the screen. And I always thought that was really neat, and it'd be neat to replicate at home. So the moment of truth will be once we put the screen on, and I want to see if this backlighting actually works. So from a completion perspective, um, I, I'll put a link in the description of the instructions I loosely followed. On AVS forum, there's a minimalist screen uh, build, uh, acoustically transparent screen build thread, and lots of good information there. And I, I, I basically use that. What I'm really also excited about is, as you guys may have seen or heard me in a previous video, I was complaining about the center channel, and I was unhappy with it. So, Having an acoustically transparent screen, I now have an ideal situation, which is having the left center and right channel being exactly the same. And now being this massive speaker, I'm, I'm hoping that the sound quality uh, significantly improves. So I've got to run room uh, calibration as soon as I put the screen up. And, uh, you know, I just have the power outlet out here sitting um, and this is just to power the LED backlighting on the screen so as you can see it's tucked away there and it terminates there and I'll be uh, I'll be plugging that in or get my son to go underneath and plug it in as we come and hang okay guys moment of truth let's see if the whole IMAX look with the speakers being lit behind the screen actually worked. Here goes. Hmm. Slightly visible. Now let's walk past and see what happens. Oh, very nice. It just it just reveals as you're walking past. Let's try that again. So here's the center. And then as I continue to walk, the side speakers reveals itself. Very good. It worked. Okay, guys, let me get into some specifics on why I chose this screen and what it is and what features it has. So this is a 110-inch Elon Vision reference studio screen. This is an acoustically transparent screen, once again. Um, one of the reasons why this is on my wall as opposed to competing products is that uh, one of the prime sellers for me is that it has very little atten attenuation. So what that means is the speakers that are behind, uh, they don't lose frequency response in, uh, it's almost non-existent. I mean, it's as close to zero as I've seen on a lot of the specs of of, of screens and you know I've seen screens two or three times the price of this particular screen and with the picture quality and the way this looks even on the wall I am I'm impressed the materials I mean this was a this is a solidly made uh, screen 
So one of the other selling features to me really is the the fact that this this comes with a very thin bezel. Uh, gives it a very modern look, like in all of these modern TVs. You know, uh, uh, my previous screen, if you've seen if you've seen my previous videos, was a very thick, very fat, if you will, border around it, and it it had it, it got long in the tooth. This is far more impressive looking, and just the wow factor walking through that door, and you're almost in front of this majestic screen. Um, again, I'm still not over my wonderful Valencia Tuscany seats. Uh, still waiting for my order to come in for the for the rear seats. But uh, anyway, before I get distracted by them again, so you know, I will demo some movie scenes, if you will, sitting in the center seat um, shortly. But uh, I'm just gonna get through some more specs on why I chose this. One of the main reasons for choosing this is the guarantee that uh, Elon Vision had provided. You know, they they indicated that you know compare this to screens that are two or three times the cost, and if I'm not happy with it, I get a full refund. So I am I am very pleased. Uh, I mean, between the 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 beginning of this video, a couple of days have gone by that I've had this screen up. And um, as my wife will attest, she has been asking for me because uh, I've been missing upstairs for the last 24 hours. I've just been down here nonstop almost. I've had my lap work laptop down here and I'm, and I'm working in this room. But, I, you know, even the, the ambience in here with nothing playing. You know, 50% of the time, nothing is playing, and uh, I'm just sitting in here enjoying the view and just enjoying the ambience that this space has created for me. Uh, so now this screen has just completely, completely changed the game. So let me walk further back to sh show you guys what this looks like. I mean, the colors are all off on my, uh, on my camera, but uh, uh, the dramatics... And the fade of that blue is what I'm seeing on the camera right now versus what my eyes are seeing. Um, the blue isn't just a defined sharp line. It is a diffuse glow and it looks very, very nice uh, in person. So this screen came with a black backing, but I chose not to use it. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to be able to see what's behind the screen. So the negative effect of not putting that black screen that comes that you're supposed to install behind the screen uh, the only slight negative is that you can't have the screens backlighting too bright um, otherwise again the the speakers will will poke through right like uh, um, so if you wanna if you want to be able to always use this on the brightest setting I'd suggest to install that black cloth that uh, that comes that you're supposed to install behind the screen to prevent uh, light leakage. But um, I uh, again, if I turn that side lighting out, it's it's it, there. There's virtually no effect to the image quality once you've got a projected image. So I'd rather have it like this. You may prefer otherwise. Uh, one of the other features that I liked about this screen is that you can literally be one inch away from your 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 speakers and and the back of the screen um i want i you know my room isn't huge it's uh, 13 by 20 so i needed every inch in in my room and i and i needed some space in the back as well uh, because i'm going to be adding a couple more subs back there so which is why i've got the two subs up front the the svs pv 2000s up front and i'm i'm still deciding on what uh uh what to get for the back but anyway before i get too distracted so so you know you can you can uh install one inch behind the screen and a couple of the questions that I've gotten while I've shared a couple of pictures on some uh, online forums is does the screen flutter with the subwoofers being that close virtually the answer is no not even in the least bit um again as I indicated in my in my video uh in this particular video uh, about a couple of minutes ago uh, this is a very porous screen, 
uh, th uh, 2,000 holes per square inch. So, you know, you can, it, it'll, it'll blow right through it without causing it to flutter and, and therefore, uh, causing the image quality to, uh, uh, to not be consistent. So, you know, there's a, um, if it's important for you, it's not important for me. I, I don't really do any off axis viewing. So this, this does, uh, th this is reflective up to uh, 180 degrees. So you can be completely on the side and you'll still have a solid projected image. Um, you, you know, again, a bonus, not necessary for my particular room. Uh, guys, there's a, there's a lot more detail in terms of why uh, I'd, I'd personally recommend uh, Elon Vision screens. Um, there's a lot more technical information that uh, I don't want to regurgitate during this video, but uh, I'll put a link in the description um, to the uh, specs of the screen. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play something in this room and um, at least try to capture what the projected image looks like. All right, guys. Uh, so just some background. I am sitting in the middle seat, which is nine feet, like where your head would be is nine feet from the front edge of the screen. So keep in mind, this is a 110 inch screen, a uh, bit close for some folks, but this is exactly what I, what I wanted. I wanted a complete uh, field of view that just uh, takes, uh, takes over. So, you know, that's what we've got. So let me uh, not delay and uh, hit play here. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to be posting a few more updates. There's a, there's some other things that are that are planned. I still have to do a quick video demo on this particular machine and what I've modded to allow 7,000 arcade games on it. Um, so please do hit the subscribe button. Any questions that you have on the acoustically transparent screen build, I highly recommend it to to folks to do if uh, if you're if you're going to have a dedicated theater space, um, please don't discount the fact that you can get an acoustically transparent screen, get real decent front left and, and uh, right channel speakers, and uh, ultimately put those behind the screen exactly as you have it when you go to a movie theater. You don't see the front uh, stage at all. So go ahead and subscribe if uh, again if there's any comments or questions that you guys have please do ask in the comments of this video um i try and read and respond to all questions that uh, that come up so please do subscribe and i'll uh, see you guys again when i do my next video